when we landed three days ago at the airport in London, um, there were some Americans behind us in the queue for customs. And uh, the first thing I heard when we got off the plane was, you know what I'm fucking glad to be out of the States for? I don't have to hear fucking Donald Trump for a week. Um, I, I can't explain who he is to you. Uh, you've probably seen him. He's a, he's a reality television star and a failed billionaire. Um, he's grumpy with a double chin and a giant orange beaver on top of his head. Um, <laughs> He's not peddling anything new. What he's peddling is uh, ancient, age-old American ideas of hatred, uh, uh, misogyny, uh, racism, and uh, that rich people know everything and that everyone else can just shut the fuck up and sit the fuck down. Um, uh, The fact that he's uh, doing so well in the polls now speaks to two things. Not America's stupidity, because none of the polls are real. What it speaks to is that the media was desperate to do something to throw up against Bernie Sanders, Hillary Clinton, and the coherent people who are running for fucking office in the country. You may have seen all the other Republican candidates candidates. They have one woman running, Carla Fiorina, who's an unsuccessful businesswoman. Um, The other ones are all ugly men, you may have noticed, to a person. Um, This is what the Republican Party is offering America, more ugly men from the old days. Uh, And they're always talking about returning to values. Returning to values means values like slavery and indentured bondage and shit like that and debtor's prison. Oh, fuck, yes, it does. Um, You may have been watching and wondering what's been going on in the United States where the police run rampant and just beat people senseless and shit like that and there's riots every fucking week and that this is going going on for quite some time now, and that our our economy is much like uh, the UK economy. Three people have everything, and the rest of us are left to walk around hoping someone fucking drops something on the ground. (laughs) And then we don't get attacked by a seagull in Broughton with their fucking dive bombing, and there are fucking 40 of them chasing a fucking heron down the street. (laughs) Is he going to be president? No. Um, Having said that, George W. Bush was president twice, so... (laughs) I really can bear no responsibility for what happens in the United States. Voting in the United States is a shaky process, okay? Uh, All the districts have been, we have a phrase for it, I don't know if they use it here, called gerrymandering. Gerrymandering means you've redistricted uh, everything so that all the people who can vote for your candidate get to vote and everyone else can suck it. And uh, that's how we vote in the United States. Voting in the United States is like voting in Panama in the 40s, let me put it that way. Banana Republic style voting, you know what I mean? Uh, Stalin said it best, it's not who... Uh, uh, who votes, it's who counts the votes, right? And in America, the two votes, uh, I've said it before on the show, but it bears repeating. George W. Bush was elected twice, and I was surprised that Haiti didn't invade us to install a democracy. (laughs) Because he did not win. You're only saying that because you didn't like him. Um, I'm not the only one who didn't like him. Uh, uh, I, I think you, if you took a vote of the world, if you had everyone in the world raise their hand, the unrushing fucking wind that comes off of everyone in the world raising their hand that didn't like George Bush would be enough to power uh, the entirety of the fucking universe till the end of fucking time. Um, I don't know a country where people were like, fucking George W. Bush, fuck yeah! Uh, certainly not anywhere in the Middle East or Central Asia. Uh, or anywhere in South America, or anywhere in America. So other than those countries, yes, he was probably pretty popular. Um, I'm guessing in his neighborhood in Texas, a couple guys liked him. Uh, uh, In any case, uh, I I voted for Obama, but only because I had to. The point is this. Uh, Someone said to me, what would the first 100 days of the Greg Proops administration be like were I elected president? And since there's about as much likelihood of me being elected president as there is Donald Trump, first of all, I would never run for president because you have to say yes to everybody. Uh, Oh, kittens. Uh, But I'll read you a couple of things that I would do. Uh, 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 A couple of the things I'd put forward before were all arms sales by the U.S. government must go to charity, uh, free high-speed Internet for everyone in public places. We don't have that in America. You you pay for Internet. Sometimes in hotels, it's $25 to pay for Internet for one night. Yeah, right? Because, you know, the elves that run the Internet, the fairies that come from Broughton, that power it all night long, ceaselessly, working those cranks and whatnot. Uh, um, my understanding is it's electricity, and it just kind of happens. I don't know. I mean, I'm not a big IT expert and shit, but it, you can pretty much walk anywhere, and it's fucking happening. Uh, and then I also had, uh, an, on day 46, we erect a statue to Aerosmith. <laughs> on day 47, James Brown, Nina Simone, and Ray Charles' birthdays are declared natural holiday, national holidays. Exactly. And on day 50, white guys are banned from late-night TV. So here's this week's. Uh, Day 51, the government not allowed to use the word terror because terror has many meanings. Say, for instance, uh, you were living in a country and an American predator drone came over your neighborhood and then bombed everyone at your wedding party. That's terror, too. (laughs) 
And say you were walking down the street and a cop asked you for your ID and you didn't fucking present it right away and the cop beat the living crap out of you and then shot you with rounds. That's terror too, right? So let's not just say terror is always an Arab person or a Muslim person or whoever the other is that we don't identify with. Let's call terror what it is, state fucking funded um, because that's who funds fucking terror around here. We're going to go a couple minutes late because we started a couple minutes late. Is that cool? Yeah, thanks. Uh, Day 52. Day 52, TV networks forced to show music and arts programs. Day 53, the election cycles two weeks, no attack ads, and debates conducted by a third party, not the television networks. Fox News conducted the first um, uh, Republican debate. Used, yeah, used to be in a third party called the League of Women Voters, who uh, you can guess what they are by their name. Um, now we're letting television networks pick their own hosts, ask the questions, so they fire softballs at people. And at the Republican debate, the final question was, what, what role does God play in your life? <laughs> now, I don't know what you consider relevant in the world, but I could say to you, what role does fucking Sleeping Beauty play in your life? <laughs> We're off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz. And then I'm sure to get a heart, a home, a brain, the knife. (laughs) Grown-up people on American television to pick the leader of the free world asked other grown-up people what role God played in their lives. Now, if you're a spiritual person and God plays a huge role in your life, right on. If you're a normal, sentient human being that believes that God is an arguable concept, then wow. Uh, day 54, I take a trip to Mexico. Day 55. <laughs> there's a lot of those. There's a, there's a lot of building a barricade around the White House so the white people don't kill me. Uh, day 55, the drug war ends. And I mean ends. There is no war on drugs. The American government is sponsoring the war on drugs, just like we sell arms to everyone in the world. The war on drugs is over. We lost. Uh, the, 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 the price of cocaine... Uh, in 1976 was $100 a gram in the United States. The price of cocaine in 2015 is $100 a gram. The price of marijuana in 1976 was $10 for an ounce. The price of marijuana is $480 an ounce in America. So you do the fucking maths. The, the drug war. Day 56, all prisoners in, uh, in jail for drug misdemeanors are given amnesty. Day 57, all personal debt, student loans, and traffic tickets erased. The comprehensive ocean of debt that the banks, HSBC, Lloyd's, the mortgage companies, and all of the fucking government agencies owe is so much more than any little fucking penurious debt, any little picayune debt that we could have. And yet people are driven to distraction, driven to prison, and their lives ruined for having debt. And in our country, my country, uh, the United Snakes, um, students are, 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 are hounded mercilessly for their student loans, which is why people don't go to fucking college. Day 57, limits put on banks and credit card companies profits day 58 mental health care free and on demand i should also say mandatory (laughs) if you tell me god told you to run for president you need to see somebody (laughs) day 59 literacy classes taught at every level and that means from three years old on up there's millions of people walking around the united states who are completely functioning functionally illiterate there's people on the island of butte who speak gaelic very poorly Day 60, work week shortened to 35 hours, four weeks paid vacation, paid maternity leave. Um, we don't have any of that in the United States. I don't know what you get in Scotland, probably less and less and less and less, but we don't get any paid vacation. And so there are many jobs where there's no paid vacation at all, uh, and yet you go to other countries and people get a, a whole month off. Go to France in the summertime. There's nobody there. Uh, day 61, hologram of me used in public to avoid assassination. <laughs> <laughs> 